Hello, I am Nika Harper and this is a story reading that I would like to do for you. It is called, What It's Like to Be Tall. I wonder what it's like to be tall. To have crater footfalls and a two-story shadow Cracking the sidewalk as I step between blocks. Stopping traffic of ants. Their cars can't hold me. I outgrew them. What if I was a landmark? Standing with bronzed skin, with a placard that read my name brightly, but nobody read. I wonder what fountains would spray in my wake, and whether the children would play on them, or be discouraged by mothers who don't understand the value of happiness. Maybe the rocks would be circular dark stones that were wet and gleaming, or reflective granite walls would puncture the air, wearing a form-fitting chlorine dress of water. Would the pennies at the bottom hold wishes, or just lose change? I wonder how long my legs would be to span the city, to pivot and be both here and there, to be the definition of a place, present, ubiquitous, I wonder what the shops would be, if they would name themselves accordingly, if I would have a market and an insurance office and a rowdy looking pet shop. Would the streets stay dry in the rain and widen to fit the traffic? Would the bars have cocktails named in my favor with a sprig of mint and muddled fruit? How many stops in the train would I have to reach all the way out to the tips of my fingers? And would people take pictures of the signs to say, I finally made it and I'll remember this? Would the asphalt be resurfaced to smoothness? And would it affect all the commuters, reaching the traffic reports every day but still claiming to be the ideal route? Would I curve and twist? Will children trick or treat on the sidewalks? And ah, the sights of Christmas lights in the windows of well-kept houses. Would someone die on me one day, victim of a car and a mistake? And would the well-placed cross stay down, white, and honored. And for how long? I wonder if maps would mark me with an outline or a dark square. If the population would crest to outshine the neighboring villas. If there was a good part of town that they called my heart and a trendy, preferable area in my eye. Would my zip code be a palindrome or a musical sort of number? Would people judge my area code when they give it to friends? Would I have a historic district with Bougainvillea climbing up the brick walls, their papery petals shuddering in a temperate breeze? Would my high school have pride? Would my mascot be a noble local legend? Would books mention me as a setting or place of interest? Would I have a museum somewhere? I wonder if planes would avoid my hair as the clouds cluster into a crown, if the twinkling lights below would ever feel boring or whether they would shimmer brighter as I pass along. Would my legs bring jet currents and streams to travelers as they rode upon my shoulders and across my lips? Would rain touch down as I wept for such beauty or loneliness as the sky affords, singing to the burrs and ambitious winged children who must understand the distance of the sun when I carry them to it? Would sculptures of clouds form in my wake, so unique as to inspire a tide of photographs of the prismatic sunset as it melts like sherbet into the blue and golden rays. I wonder if I would reach up and pluck the stars and place them on my fingertips to twist around the world for those who are looking. Would I soar and hold my arms around a planet to catch it when it falls every night? Would I hang like a mobile and watch it drift Boiling it back into its blue undulation for when I remember what tall meant and how it became redefined. There would be distance and speed and measurements and there would be me. Thank you so much for listening. I would love to hear what you think of it. Of course, you can find it on my Tumblr, which is nikaharper.tumblr.com. You can find it in written form, which is usually a little bit different than the way that I read it. And of course, I'd love to hear what you guys think um, on all of the social medias. You can usually find me if you search Nika Harper. Uh, this is, of course, my Patreon. Patreon is an amazing service and way for creators to create uh, with the help of many amazing people who support them. So thank you very much. And thank you for listening. I really appreciate it.